text-to-speech tools, what's available, or Rado. Okay, so in this video we're going to have a bit of a look at um, Orato or Rato, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It is a free tool that will work on any Windows PC. Um, it is available for download from the Study Support Moodle. It can be run from a USB memory stick and it can also be used in exams. Any of the voices installed on the computer um, can, be, can be used uh, by Orato. So if I go into options here, this little chap holding a spanner, um, you can see here we've got several voices installed on this computer. You'll find Jack, Jess and Microsoft Anna on all of the computers in college. Um, you can adjust the speech rate with Orato, you can turn it up, you can turn it down. Um, to be honest with you, I tend to find just leaving it on zero is probably best. Some students do like it a little bit slower, but um, it's not something that people tend to, tend to alter that much. You can adjust the volume of the speaking voice from within the, the options as well, or obviously you can just turn up the speakers um, on the other computer if you prefer. Um, I would suggest that you leave automatically start reading the clipboard turned off. Um, uh, you can also show the text when it's being read to you and highlight each word individually. So that looks a little bit like the way um, Dolphin Say So works. Uh, similar sort of idea to that, but it's read actually in a window by the Orato software. Uh, or alternatively, you can have each sentence highlighted to you when you're reading. Um, if you prefer to have a slightly larger font when you're, uh, when you're reading, that's fine. Um, you can change the font size and things from within this menu here. You just click OK once you've selected what you're after and you'll be good to go. And you can also alter the background colour if you prefer. So some students who use coloured filters for whatever reason um, will, uh, will, will probably want to do this. Something that um, has worked quite well actually with students uh, who, who have needed coloured uh, colour colored filters for exam use um, or even for lesson use as well. We've had students doing, um, adapting the resources using Orato, changing the colour on here rather than using a, a different coloured piece of paper. That, so that seems to work just fine for, uh, for some students. If you do need to change the voice, um, you will sometimes get this error. If you do, don't worry about that. You just click OK and then it will work properly. So I'm going to change it back to Jack because I think it's the, uh, the best voice we've got on here. So I'm going to put that on. Okay, and then if we just click close at the bottom, we're, we're good to go. So the way Auto works is that it will select, it will read rather any text that you've copied to the clipboard. So I'm just, uh, I've just selected all that text there. I'm just going to copy it, and then I'm going to click speak. Or Auto is a free tool that will work on any Windows XP, Vista, seven or eight PC. I'm just going to pause be it run now. From a USB memory stick. Okay, so you can see there the uh, the text is paused. You see my pause button now says resume if I want it to carry on. I just click the uh, the button now that says resume. It has been used in exams. Any voices installed onto the computer. And obviously if I want to stop it, I can just hit that stop button. If I wanted that bit of text to be read to me again, I just click speak again. Or Rato is a free tool that will work on any Windows XP. So it will work on any text that you can copy to clipboard. So it will work on a, it will work on um, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, PDFs, anything where you can actually copy the text. It will work. It is a very very simple tool to use. Um, that's why we've uh, we've used it in exams because of how straightforward it is. Uh, we've had lots of feedback from students uh, at all levels who've, who've been using Orato and their um, their feedback has been very, very positive about it. I think if you just want to sort of give a text-to-speech tool a try, if you want to introduce a student to the idea of a text-to-speech tool, Orato is certainly um, the way to go, uh, something to, to get stuck into. Uh, there's not really a great deal more to say about this, uh, this tool. Um, it's easy. Uh, there's, you probably won't run into too many many problems with it. If you do for any reason, it's simply a case of just shutting the software, starting it up again, and then you, uh, you should be good to go from there. Um, any changes that you make to the options um, will 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 uh, will stay for when next time you, you start the software up. So if you ch if you change the background color or something like that, you can uh, you can start it up again, and it will have remembered that you've altered the background color or that you've altered the uh, the voice or the speech rate or anything anything like that. Um, it's like I said, it's available for download on the Study Support Moodle. Um, you can also download it off the internet because it is it is free software. Um, so students can take it home, um, it can run from a pen drive or it can uh, just be, be popped onto the desktop and, and run from there. So um, it's quite a good one to sort of get stuck into using text-to-speech tools if you want to give students something that's very simple and um, that they can use to support their own reading very, very easily and very, very quickly. Uh, so that's it for Orto. If you have any problems, please feel free to get in touch and I'll do my best to, uh, to help you out. Um, and that's it. 
Okay, so now it's just time for a quick review of the things we've looked at. Uh, remember, Orito is a very, very simple tool. So if you actually want to use it, all you need to do is select the text that you want read, copy it to the clipboard. You can do that with Control C, or you can right click. Uh, then you simply need to click play. Then if you click pause, um, it will pause it. Uh, that, that button will then say resume. So if you click resume, it will resume the reading and then stop if required. Um, if you change the voice, you will need to copy text to the clipboard again to have it read to you again. Um, so that's something to just to be aware of. But like I said, very easy. You can select any text that you can copy to the clipboard and that can be read to you using Orito. The final thing then just to do a quick refresher on is the settings. You can change the voice if required and we do have the JISC tech disk voices Jess and Jack on most of the other uh, computers around college. Um, you'll find that on all the PCs. Uh, you need to, if you need to change the speed or the volume of uh, of the voice, um, you can do that using the sliders in settings. Uh, if you want to alter the font, font and background colors, you can do that at the bottom using the buttons there. And then, if you want to uh, to, to save any of the settings that you've changed, you just click close uh, the red tick at the bottom when you're happy with your settings. Settings will be remembered if you restart the software. So that's it for Orito. If you have any problems with it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks. Bye.